Hey guys, I know myself here, and today we're going to be comparing iOS 11 beta 8 on the left versus iOS 11 beta 7 on the right. Now we're going to do the standard test that I do on these videos. We're going to do the boot up, the software test, the hardware test with the performance. And then we're going to do the time lapse at the end of the video for the battery comparison. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and boot up both devices. Of course, they're both powered off at a count of three. One, two, three. There they go. And it looks like iOS 11 beta 8, uh, the screen lit up faster. But of course, as always, we're going to wait for the official boot up. And it looks like beta 8 by maybe half a second booted up a little faster. So here we go. So bringing down the notification center, control center, just browsing through the OS. Feels a very natural, very normal as you would expect. No choppiness, no lag whatsoever. However, the multitasker for some reason on beta 8 seems a little slower than beta 7. And if you watch my previous video, beta 7 seemed a little slower than beta 6. So it's gradually getting slower. So let's go ahead and try that. One, two, three. You see how much faster beta 7 did that? Let's do that again. One, two, three. You see that? So a lag definitely when you go into the multitasker in beta 8. And one thing you guys wanted me to test was 3D touch. And in my opinion, 3D touch seems to be the same amount of speed as you can see here. And 3D touch, in my opinion, has always sort of had this uh, lag on beta software. Uh, it's not until the official launch after a few uh, releases after that that we see it smoothing up a little bit as we saw with iOS 10. So uh, same case around here with iOS 11. We see a little bit of a choppiness, nothing drastic, but uh, uh, it's definitely there. Connecting to Bluetooth, we saw that beta 7 versus beta 6 on my previous video was a little bit slower uh, than uh, beta 6, beta 7 was. Let's see how we do here from beta 7 to beta 8. Again, beta 8 is on the left here. Have the AirPods here. Uh, enabled in or open and let me go ahead and turn on bluetooth on both devices here and see which one brings it up just about the same amount of speed let's go ahead and do that one more time same speed on connecting to bluetooth devices let's go ahead and try the unlock animations and the speed of the lock screen here you guys be the judge of that let's go ahead and do that one more time so i believe the speed is relatively identical Nothing drastic, nothing you will notice when you go to unlock your device. So what I want to do now is go into settings here real quick. Find the Safari extension and go ahead and clear all web data in history or all history in web data. And launch Safari here and go to apple.com. Okay, at a count of three, one, two, three. Let's see which one loads this faster here. Beta 7 definitely loaded that a little faster. Networks are identical, so uh, nothing's different there. But the results may vary depending on your device, the connection, and all that. Uh, let's go ahead and run the Geekbench application here. But before we do, let's go ahead and quit all applications uh, that are running in the background. Press on the power button. And then hold the home button to quit everything that's running in the background, freeing up the memory here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run Geekbench to see which one performs better. Now, if you saw my coverage on iOS 11 beta 8, you saw that iOS 11 uh, beta 7 actually performed better in that video. But I wanted to do the test one more time. So one, two, three. Here they go. Let's go ahead and wait for the results. Okay, so it looks like we're almost done here. And actually, Beta 8 to finish the test first with a 35-12 on a single-core score and a 59-95 on a multi-core score. Now, it did perform better on multi-core scores, you can see here in comparison to Beta 7, but it performed a little lower. Uh, beta 8 did in comparison to Beta 7 when it comes to single-core scores. So the tests are a little bit all over the place here uh, when I tested it yesterday and tested it today. Let me know what your scores are in the comments down below. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the time lapse for the battery so as we take a look here at the time lapse for the battery performance as always both devices were charged to 100 uh, percent the same tasks were performed on both bluetooth and wi-fi was enabled the brightness was up 90 percent on both devices and as we can see here ios 11 beta 8 actually did perform slightly better than beta 7 by an additional extra five to six minutes of on-screen time which is always a plus we've seen gradual improvements on the battery with each beta excluding beta 2 to beta 3 but from that point on up we've seen improvements on ios 11 in terms of battery performance let me know how the battery is performing for you guys and for those who were asking uh, ios 11 could be released in the next two weeks to the general public we may see another beta as the gold master copy but there you guys have it the comparison of the performance and battery test of beta 7 and beta 8 i hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day i'll see you on the next one. Peace.